uh, and then I'm happy to answer any questions that you'd like to, to ask me. So look, um, I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, the, the two th key things that people are interested in are firstly just what my vision is for the ANU uh, and secondly then uh, what changes you uh, may or may not expect uh, with myself as Vice-Chancellor. So firstly in terms of the vision for the ANU, uh, it really is quite simple. Um, I'd like to see the ANU uh, broadly recognised as Australia's national university. Uh, and for it to do that, uh, then it's going to have to not only be uh, a world-class research institution offering uh, high-quality education, uh, but it's also going to have to be uh, an institution which the Australian public can identify with uh, and see as a national resource. So being able to uh, sell uh, the uh, huge uh, potential that this university has to be able to contribute to Australian society uh, will be one of the things which I see as a key element uh, of this position. Um, in terms of uh, just how we might take the university forward, um, one of the uh, quite nice uh, legacies which uh, the university has left me is that uh, the current strategic plan for the university uh, is uh, ANU in 2010. So uh, the, the 2010 date now has passed and, and the university uh, left the development of a new strategic plan uh, to the new Vice-Chancellor, to myself. So one of the, the very first things that uh, I'll need to do is to develop uh, a new strategic strategic plan for the university which will set the uh, position and direction for the university over the next five to ten years. Um, and so that will occupy me, uh, I expect, for probably about the first six months of, of this year uh, as I consult very broadly with uh, the staff, the students, uh, the alumni, uh, the external stakeholders of the university uh, as we look at just uh, how we're going to position the university to prosper uh, and to develop over the next five to ten years. So with those comments I'll stop and I'm happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have. Can we expect um well, I know you haven't started it yet, but can we expect a new strategic plan that's significantly different to the one that um, uh, Professor Chubb um, look, I think it'll be different in terms of, uh, I mean, obviously the sector has changed quite considerably over that period of time, um, and so uh, I think you'll see a plan which will be different in detail, um, although I think you'll actually find that uh, uh, Ian Chubb and I have very similar views about uh, the strategic uh, direction of the university, and particularly about uh, the very single-minded um, commitment to this institution being a world-class, high-quality university. So I don't think you'll see uh, any significant change in those broad directions of the university uh, but obviously you're going to see changes in terms of uh, the way you might actually achieve that and the and the uh, important drivers of both education and uh, international research at the present time. Do you have any different priorities or any priority changes that we can expect? Um, look one of I mean uh, Part of this process will, will evolve as we actually consult widely. Um, but one of the things that strikes you about the ANU when you come here is the sheer quality of the, of the staff uh, and indeed of the students within the institution. Um, and indeed, if you look at the history of the ANU, it really has been built on the back of, of really outstanding, uh, outstanding people. So if you look at people like Florey or Oliphant, uh, Hancock, Coombs, Fenner, um, Eccles, Doherty, these sorts of people, Nobel Prize winners, many of them, um, it's been on the back of those really giants in their particular research fields that the quality of this institution has been built. And so one of the very important priorities for me going forward will be how does this institution nurture the next generation uh, of those world leaders, um, whether they be uh, the existing staff of this institution uh, or whether they be other staff that we would like to attract uh, to, the, to the ANU in the future. So a very very big part of my job uh, will be around developing the people uh, and ensuring that uh, we have a uh, research and teaching workforce within the ANU which is second to none. On a personal level, how are you feeling about stepping into the role and, and taking the reins from, from Ian Chubb? Well, look, I said when I was appointed to the role, I said I was uh, um, very honoured uh, to be offered the position of uh, Vice-Chancellor of the ANU. It's a very special position, it's a very special university. Um, and so uh, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm very excited about the, the opportunity which exists. Um, uh, 
uh, Ian has been uh, very generous uh, in his handover to me, um, so we spent a lot of time actually uh, discussing uh, the issues around the ANU and, uh, uh, and as I said before, uh, I think although you will see differences in style, we're different people, um, I think you'll actually see uh, a very similar uh, direction in terms of the, the, the way that this institution moves forward. I guess you're still settling in. What's the first thing that you'll do sort of in the next few days, few weeks? Uh, I'll be meeting people. Um, I already have uh, uh, a very long list of uh, engagements uh, which will give me an opportunity to get out there uh, and to understand the institution better than I do. Um, I've spent a, a lot of time, I guess, uh, as an outsider uh, looking in um, and, and looking at the metrics and the various things that, uh, that, that you, can, you, can, you can understand fr from afar, uh, but you never really understand an institution uh, fully uh, until you can get in and talk to the people. Uh, and so, uh, really, for a, a very extensive period of time, um, I need to meet the, the people to understand the culture of the university. And Professor Young, you're, a, you're an active researcher, aren't you? Will you be able to keep that up in this role or will you have to give that up now? Uh, well, I, think, I think I need to be realistic uh, in that. Um, and so certainly for a, for a period of time I'm intending to, to put my research activities on the back burner. Um, but uh, I haven't yet given up entirely. Uh, so um, I, I still have a number of uh, colleagues who are regularly emailing me and uh, trying to twist my arm to get involved in various things. Uh, so I'll try uh, to keep my hand in a little bit, but uh, I think at least for a, for a period of time I, uh, uh, I'll be concentrating on the, uh, the real issues at hand. Good. Yeah, I'll just stay from me. Okay. Can you just get a few shots. Can you just ask me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were a, you're, you're not new to being a VC. You've had experience previously, haven't you? Oh yes, uh, seven years. So before before uh, before the ANU, I was uh, vice chancellor at Swinburne University of Technology in in Melbourne for uh, for seven years. Is that kind of um. Is that university uh, is very different to ANU or um, kind of research focus? Well, it is, yes. I mean, it's, it's different in a number of, in a number of ways, but um, uh, I think it's actually quite, uh, quite interesting. One of the similarities between uh, Ian Chubb and myself is that um, before being appointed to the Vice-Chancellor of ANU, we are actually both Vice-Chancellors of what you would call uh, uh, smaller institutions that have research aspirations. So in Ian's case, uh, Ian's case Flinders, in my case, uh, Swinburne. So uh, they're, they're, they were both institutions that uh, certainly don't have the research breadth uh, that the ANU has, uh, but were younger institutions that certainly were trying to aspire as research universities. What do you see as the biggest challenge in this room? Um, the biggest challenge in this role uh, is actually being able to, well two things, um, being able to, to determine what the priorities are for the institution. What is it that you're going to do and not do? Um, because it's going to be very important for uh, not only this university but all the universities in Australia to be able to determine where they're going to invest in the future. What are the research strengths that they want to develop? Uh, what are the teaching areas which will be critically important to the institution? Because you can't do everything uh, if you want to do it at, at, uh, at really world, world quality. So that's the first issue, being able to, to pick those directions and to get broad buy-in across the community as the fact that they're the, the, correct, correction, the correct directions. And the second one uh, is, is the, 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 old, uh, the old problem of how do you actually get the resources to do that? Um, the ANU is, is competing not only in Australia, it's competing on a world stage uh, to, to be a world-class university. Uh, and if you're going to do that, you need to actually have the resources to be able to invest to carry out truly world-class research, truly world-class teaching. Uh, and so being able to uh, uh, put together the, the financial plan required to be able to achieve that uh, excellence uh, is, is a significant challenge, not only for this university, but for all Australian universities. Do you think the ANU is, is uh, too broad at the moment? Would you like to, to move it to, to be more specialised in some way? Um, no, I don't think it is. I mean, um, one of the, if you compare, for instance, the ANU with the rest of the group of eight universities, um, it's actually uh, quite a focused university now. Um, now, so I, I actually think it's, it's done, and that's one of the reasons I think that it has been successful. So we need to, we need to continue to sharpen that focus, um, uh, which doesn't mean that the institution isn't going, to, isn't going to grow and develop. There will obviously be new areas of education, new areas of research that come along, um, but we can't simply add those willy-nilly. We need to actually make some really uh, tough 
strategic decisions as to you know, what will be the areas of, of research importance in the future, what will be the areas of, of teaching excellence that we need to develop. Yeah. How would you summarise your vision for ANU? Well, I, I said a little bit earlier that um, you know, yes, this will be an outstanding uh, world-class research university. Yes, it will offer uh, engaging education both at the undergraduate and postgraduate level. But it is the Australian National University, so it should be seen by the general public as Australia's national university. So it shouldn't be seen just as a university which is in Canberra. Uh, it has a broader national presence than that, and that's quite a unique position uh, amongst Australia's universities. So part of the challenge, and this is not, this is not an easy one, is to be able to sell that vision uh, to people right across Australia, that they see this as a national resource. Uh, which is contributing to the Australian community, contributing to our technology, contributing to, uh, to the economy of the country, contributing to the society generally. So you know, the, the people of Australia should see this as an endowment for, for the future of the nation. And on a lighter note, how are you going to go? You're not living in Melbourne anymore. What are you going to miss about? Uh, um, well, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to miss the uh, the traffic in Melbourne. And, um, uh, I arrived at work uh, at least 40 minutes earlier this morning than uh, than I do in than I do in Melbourne. Uh, so uh, and uh, of course uh, Canberra's uh, Canberra's not uh, uh, something new to me. I've actually lived here for for 12 years. Earlier part of earlier part of my career. In fact, I think I've. I think I've actually uh, uh, lived in, in Canberra for longer than any other, any other city apart from uh, where I grew up as a child. So um, I guess I'm returning home. What were you doing in Canberra? Over the twelve years, um, I was. Uh, I uh, originally came to Canberra as a uh, as a relatively junior lecturer at the Australian Defence Force Academy, uh, which is part of the University of New South Wales. So uh, I spent twelve years at uh, at ADFA and uh, and left there as uh, acting rector in um, about nineteen ninety eight, I think it was.